Hello, good morning. Like working, which is a good start. Got audio, got video, got game. And we're back. It's been a few well a wee while since we've had a live stream. It would be a week and a half. Things have been busy. Uh, but here we are, we are back on our weekend catch up. So I hope everyone's doing well. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening for you all. Legion, welcome along, mate. Jimino is here. You're downloading the map right now, looks really cool. Awesome. Hey Tanner, hello Georgie, welcome along, Yoren, hello to my friend, good to see you, Mr. Mark, hey Thornthwaite, hello, good morning, Madonna boys, g'day, Chinook, morning, working and listening, nice to see you mate, welcome along, Ozzy, Odd, how are you, and Cameron, Uncle Daff, nice to see you all, welcome along, and welcome along, I'm going to butcher the pronunciation of this, but Gerang Gurang in Victoria, uh, now this is a map by Ozzy Farming Sim, which uh, Came out this week. It's been a map that he's been working on since late last year, so about twelve months. Um, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's it's a little bit rough, a little bit crude. Um, has a slightly different feel in terms of Australian maps to what we've seen on Western Australia and Southern Cross. Uh, but I think if you're looking for a large 4x type map um, with some big fields and running some Aussie type gear, I think it's pretty good. So this is where you start out. This is the house you own if you start out on New Farmer. Now we're just going to jump in because I've got a whole lot of harvest contracts to take a look at it. But just for starting, that's that's the bit of land you start with. You also start with these three fields and uh, they all have grass in them. And from the Facebook page someone questioned why they all had grass. And his idea was that uh, start off and actually choose what you want to put in your fields and how you seed them and everything like that. So you don't have any predefined... Um, predefined crops or anything. Every other field is planted or has something in it. So okay. that is where you start out and what you get. Now there's also no farms, no sheds or anything like that. So you can come in and build your own. Um, it's a little bit of choose your own adventure. Seems to be the theme that lots of people are enjoying at the moment. Um, but there is, and I haven't actually had a look in here. But I do believe there's a selection of selection of sheds and start it around. So door on the front of that one a whole lot of different sheds in here big open bay one and that one as well which is kind of cool nice to see and it's quite nice it uh, I'm not sure if there's anything else in here it doesn't look like it I did just wonder if there was any custom silos no so you can just use all the base game stuff, but there is some sheds in there if you want to build with those. Kind of cool. Um, now there is, yeah, this is a modded um, sheep pen. I haven't actually looked at how it works, but it obviously works where you just place the feeder down. See the water and the food there. And there's some static models that go around with that. So you can see over this way, there is a, it looks like a shearing shed or something like that. That's pretty cool. Hey Daniel, how are you? Blogstar, welcome along. Hello, some sanity. There you go, nice uh, little corral loading area. We'd call it a cattle yard. Um, and then the bearing sheet in here. Fence is too high for me to jump over. Don't ramp up into the shed. Get over it again. No. Haven't been working out. It's been too long between games. But there you go, that is um, that's the shearing shed. This one doesn't have a place for with it though. If you wanted to have sheep on this farm, you wouldn't have much of a choice. But I thought we'd just go for a little bit of a, a little bit of a look around. See the lay of the land. So you can see there's the yard area. And those three fields. So big fields, that's obviously one of the main things being a 4x map. Uh biggest field here for number 44 is 245 acres. A decent size. Not too small, not too big. Um, we've got contracts to do. We can have a look at 35, 27, 12, 5, and 29. So we're scattered all around. Now, to get around the map, there's a road runs up here, but it doesn't actually connect into these fields. To get into those, you've actually got to come the whole way around, back down the middle here, along the track. So it's kind of a little bit uh, dead endish in that regard. See that track down the middle there takes you there. Uh, there is a road right down the far end. Speediness. 
can go for a bit of a run. Um, but there you go, you can see that track runs in around the around the edge there. And there's a couple of spots you could set up a farm on as well. So this one down in the corner here. You can see the track going down at the middle of that field, that middle of fields. You go another potential farmyard, a few pre-placed sheds, house, but a nice big area you can set up on. Um, and then there's a road running all the way down the side of this because there is one cell point here and there is another cell point right over the far side as well. So, um, nice map to set up auto drive and course play and all those things on, I think. Hello, Martin. Good to see you. You live in Victoria, Blogstar. There you go. I was having a look. This is about halfway between uh, Victoria, uh, Victoria, halfway between Melbourne and um, Adelaide. In terms of where it is. There you go. There's um, cell point. As you can see, it looks a little bit like some of the Western Australia ones with the open heaps and things like that. But not entirely the same now. I think, if I recall correctly, this is the shop. Um, here, it's the main vehicle shop. Cell point there, and uh, another cell point. So, range trading. Got a wool cell point. Then an animal dealer over there and a bale cell point. So not too much in terms of those things around, but it is, like I said, it's pretty simple. And you know, even down to the back, there's no image on the border, so the map just stopped, which some people would. Uh, be turned off immediately by it, but it depends what you're playing it for. Live near Wilson's prom in the other direction. With a water pond there with a pump and a, a windmill. All the far, all the fields have these double gates, which is nice, nice big open. They get right out of the way. They open about 150 degrees, so they do get right out of the way. But if we were coming from that far corner over there, which is where I've got my combines parked at the moment. Come down and harvest this field down the back. Come all the way around here, all the way down the track. Run the lawn down this way. Keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. All the way to this field here at the end. Uh, Cameron, nice looking map. Did you get any errors on loading? Uh, not that I actually looked at, but I didn't have my console open to see Cameron. So. Um, I have had a, a couple of errors pop up. And I think it was mod related when I first loaded the map in. Um, so there you go, there's that road. There's a gate through that field. Um, but no way to get into that one. But no, so it's running okay. I and mean, the frame rates aren't the prettiest. I do have things set to really high at the moment though. Um, to render trees in at a difference. That's only 20 FPS, so that's not the, not the greatest. Um, there is a lot of trees when you start looking around, and depending which way you look, it gets better. It's going to be here 20, 30, 40, 40, if you look towards the map border where there's nothing to render. It's sitting there, 60. Um, I've still got my frame rate locked. And this is the other cell point. It's a standard looking silo complex. It does have the grain heap and things added onto it. And this is the wall cell point. So you've got the Australian Wool Network coming and sell you wool. Kind of nice. And then we head on back down this way. So this is one of the fields we have to harvest. It's a little bit interesting. Nice. Uh, it's an L shape with perhaps all the way around those trees. We might come down and do that one first and then head on back around the other way. Hello Jim, how are you? Welcome along. See in here we've got a, uh, a network, a little bit of a track down there. Another one on the inside here which connects back around to where we are. Got the main road on that side. And then we're at this farm and this is the this is the sheep farm. So you can see what I was saying about this building here is actually just a placeable. It's decorative for the sheep farm. Uh, you've got your water trigger there and your uh, feed trigger out the middle here I think. like it there. Big box in here. So that is, that's a very quick look. Um, oh, we'll just go over here and have a quick look so you can see the roads and different 
junctions and things like that. And there's your animal dealer and bail cell point. You are uh, your animals in the kettle pens. Are not very lively. Not a very lively bunch. Bonus points for uh bonus points for the reference, movie reference. Hey Jim, how are you? There's Den Gaming, 15 months a member. Thank you, my friend. Nice to see you. And Mr. Stegman, one year today. How are you, mate? How are you? Early one? Early for me? Not early. Normal time. Um, might be daylight savings. Oh, yeah. Uh, right. Turn that off. Don't need to go too fast. So, got our little custom harvest setup going on here. Got some of the mods that we found on... Uh, I think it was on the Aussie Farming Sim. Was it on Aussie Modding Corp Facebook page with the uh, Finch auger wagons? I'm gonna give them a try. Got a K100 there with the uh, flatbed tipper and the trailer, the little dog up trailer. Of course, we had to bring the Southern Cross Station truck up from New South Wales or down from New South Wales. And then these are the JHHD S700s. Uh, this is their PC version that they released. On the weekend, um, or as an update to the one that I've obviously had out for a while. If anyone's seen these, a little bit of a little bit of a competition between these this crowd and the other ones with their uh, branding. I'm not even going to get into discussing it. It is what it is. See the bush light the flags. Could have gone for the Australian flag. Keeping, keeping it neutral today. Keeping it neutral. Bears Den Gaming missing around on a chili whack right now. Cool, mate. I'm gonna. Um, I did contemplate streaming on there, but I thought let's let's do this and we'll have a look at things. Um, so let's go drive. Let the heaters down. The one thing that annoys me with these honeybee heaters is you can't hook them up to the back combines. The hitch just doesn't work. Be great if they had a more universal hitch. And we see the uh, frame rates being a little bit flickery. What do you think of Chilliwack there? Why are we stuck in low rain? Roving the roving the uh, covers off the engine. Oh, nice to have so many of you here this morning, or this afternoon, or this evening, whatever it is for you guys and girls. Make sure if you're uh, enjoying things, make sure you enjoy the channel content and things like that. Drop a like. Very much appreciated. Now we're in Australia, so we can drive on the left hand side of the road. Get on down here to this field. Uh, it's we are 35, the next one up here on the left. What's the bit we have to go and deliver this grain for 35 is to go all the way to the other side of the map. This is the one issue we will have is access. So nice and nicely uh textured gates. Very good galvanized look. Oh. This is the only thing though. I need to forget to see that side. That one there. Very nicely done. Um, now one thing I didn't have. To... Oh. Um, we've got a few extra crops. We've got oat hay, triticale, lucerne. We'll do lucerne, so alfalfa, as well. Um. Those ones are all ones I've put in with mods, but those four are all in the uh, all into the map. Nice. Right, I don't know how we're going to do this. Might just have to go in and and damage a little bit of the crop. I don't think we'll be able to get the header over the header over the fence.
What is that? Oh, no way. You don't want the fence too. It is a contract, so we don't have penalties for damaging things. Right, put that there. Now find a combine. Number one, number one. You're loving it so far. Took over the midfield, mid left fields, 97, 101, and building a form cow farm there. Trying to build one, like you said, what is normally farmed up in the area. Cool. That's what I was thinking would be kind of cool to do. Amazing how um, populated that area seems to be. this map on PC mod hub or third party third party site so um, there's a link in the description box to, to Aussie Aussie farming some Facebook group released on there so should be able to go and find it don't know if you have to be a member or not hey folks how you doing mate great to see you welcome some sanity farm build this could be a good map for a farm build the two maps I've had a look at this week, this one and uh, actually whack both the good candidates for doing a farm build on. Hoping that only a few fields of grass will be enough to keep up with maze plus 50 cows. That's a very good point, it is, it is insane. You can go and modify the XML here to tweak that down though if you like. Hey Karim, how you doing? Catching some of the stream between work tasks. Nice, mate. Thanks for stopping it. Good to see you. Need to find a cow building with a bigger feed hold. I've been well, mate. Been well. Been busy. What's going on in life? It's just that time of the year and things. I'm actually, uh, it's the time now. It's, it's quarter past seven in the morning. I am off. We've got to be at a football game at 10 o'clock this morning. So, last one for the year, though. Last football fixture for the boys it was nice. Having a friendly, a return fixture against the team we went to Wellington and played against three weeks ago now. And it's sunny. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful blue sky morning here. Be a good day. Good day for football. Busy all year. It has been, it, you're not wrong actually, it's, it's been a busy year. Now is this my gate? Alright, let's go and get hooked up and see how course play runs. I have more of the crop than is necessary. Right. This is a header unfolded, combine unfolded. Now I didn't go for the biggest hopper of one of the. Uh, it's a big top. So it's not the biggest, but we'll see how it goes. Did go for the biggest auger. Um, oh, not quite. There's actually one bigger arm in this, but we've only got a 50 foot header, so that should. Yeah, fair enough. Let's see how much monkey course play with. How they. With a couple of combines running in here. Uh, right. To that one. Created job, field work. Oh, good start. We found field 35. Generator. Two tools around the wire, start work on headlands. Our field center we're doing now lands. Down rose bird land to me. Let's generate. Build. The weapons in the background. Hey Ryan, how you doing? It's this PC only, it is PC only. It's a 4X map, so I don't think we've yet to see a 4X map make it through to console. Um And it's certainly, with its current state, it would not 
pass giant standards. Uh, you'd never see this on Mod Hub, unfortunately, but here we go. So, that one's set up on left, turn off our force, left one, right one, start at first waypoint. Alright, we're off, good start. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, let's go and find the other combine. Ah, uh, in fact, you know what we do need to do? This leaves the straw swath on, we don't need it, but we'll leave it on anyhow. We need to find the pickup. Get this out of the way. Does anyone find it interesting with these honeybee heaters that you can't just back straight up to the trailer, you've got to go around the other way? It seems backwards. It seems that it would face the right same way but it does when it's connected or not connected. I can't even find the point for it. Okay. Yeah, that's always confused me. Every time I get into this I think oh, I can just pull along in front of it, drop the drop the trailing part off, drop the and then drive along and get it set up properly. Right, back to get the other one. Jealous of the weather, it's snowy and minus 21 here. Ouch. It's funny, we had our had the outside of our house sprayed for bugs yesterday. Um, and, of course, as they all die, um, the birds are all around the outside of the house now picking up all these dead bugs. Hey Scooter, how are you? Good to see you. Floating around the just below the snow, but not not as much as food's did. Uh, have I missed my turn off, haven't I? I have too busy reading cat. Like I said, I do have my graphics set up really high from uh, looking at Chili Whack, and my frame rate is taking a bit of a hit at the moment, which is interesting to say the least because there's not actually a huge amount of detail in the map. That's just something to be aware of. Um, I could try and bump settings back down, but we'll just we'll live with it. I think once we get moving in the fields, we'll be fine. My honeybee drift headers drift whenever you store them in it. Yeah, I have had that here. I had that on um, Griffin, and in some instances, the the little header, tr the hitch trailer part would spin 180 and get tucked right back in underneath the header, and it would be impossible to connect to. And you'd use super strength to try and grab it and twist it out, and it was a it was a nightmare. It really was. I have had that. Yes. Hey, Black Book, how you doing, mate? Good to see you. I've also found if I go too fast, they tip over. I'll slow down for the corner. Turning right's not so bad. I think left is a little bit more weight with the wind system. See? Oh, didn't even feel like I was going fast then. There we are. Hey Parker, blame the Canadians. Uh, you know what amazed me after that Chilliwack uh, map tour is how many people in the community are from that region. I had, oh, we put ahead, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 people comment to say they had some connection to Chilliwack. In that part of British Columbia. Very amazing, it was very surprising. Flickering's going to get a bit annoying. Right, here we are. 
idea. Then we'll need some grain carts down there and some trucks and we'll be set up and going. Sixty where you are yeah. The sixty F just doesn't make any sense to me. I think that's about fifteen Celsius, isn't it? Can't even keep up with those translations. Anyone I'm really good at is uh, my miles to kilometers and feet to inches. Uh, inches to millimeters. Morning, Joe. How are you? Good to see you. Blog start, you're off to bed. Catch you next time, mate. Pleasure having you here, as always. Certainly next time. We will catch you again. Good band, also, Chili. It's funny you say that, Black Book. I googled. Um, I'll put Chili Whack into YouTube. Let's have a look. And uh, there's some beautiful promotional videos in the area. But I also noticed that there was a band called Chili Whack. Hello, Sean. Good to see you. Close. 15 and a half. Oh, look at that. I'll take that all day. So, our combine got the symptoms speak to minus 53%. Full. We should be right. And that's 60 viewers in here already. Welcome along, everyone. Great to have you here. Hope you're all doing well. Nice to be back doing some streaming. Been a few days between drinks, between streams. So while I've all got you here, I've got a captive audience. Who's checked out the logging league and who is signed up and who is intending to sign up? We've still got plenty of room for teams. We want to make this a... Uh, as enjoyable for everyone and as, get as much involvement as we can so if you haven't signed up and you're planning on it do we are at the moment we're looking at doing the first competitive round next weekend um haven't confirmed times yet but probably starting sometime around now slash a little bit later maybe in an hour's time next this time next week so it's 7 30 a.m for me so whether we start 8 a.m. my time, which will be 7 p.m. UK time. Um, if that works for um, some guy, that might be where we're looking at staging things. And uh, we've got four teams signed up already, which is awesome. We've got a we've got a pool, and we're just trying to figure out. Depending on teams, um, we'll figure out a format how we're going to do things. Certainly, the more the merrier. That's the way we look at it. Alright, let's uh, got to save that other course, don't we? Well, this is impressive actually. I'm pleased to see that everything's working its way around the outside of the field without any issues. So, build are we in? Get field 35. Right, crack folder 35. In there, we want to save our course uh, to can't watch the with a 54 years. All right, now we should be able to load that in. Load, click on there, good to go. See that to right, first waypoint, put our start point there, perfect. time. Lovely. Just like a ball one. Let's get a trailer out of the way and we'll be all good to go. Rusty, how are you mate? Great to see you. You must be, you must be getting incredibly close. To your last few days on the blue line. How are you, mate? Good to see you. They will 100% be live, Model House Man. 
That is, uh, that's what I'm looking forward to the most actually, is doing a little bit of esports casting. Something I've always wanted to, uh, wanted to do, fancied myself as. Right, leave that mark there. Now, ADAR, on ADAR X. Take the ADAR, ADAR to start with. Well, the ADAR X is probably going to be quicker on the roads, I'm sure. Yep, we will we'll be dual casting that FSG myself. We're working on some techniques to uh, improve the broadcast. Try and maximise viewing angles and all those kind of things. I won't don't expect a full uh, full farm some league type production, but um, going to give it a good shot. First time you've ever used a skid steer on beer. Is that right? Last weekend shift and last night in uniform on Thursday night. End of an era, eh, Rusty? How, how are you feeling about it? Are you feeling, uh... Feeling happy? Looking forward to the change? Also notice there's no traffic on the map. Anyone wondering about that? There's some areas that you could plow fields together, but in most instances they do have those fences between them, so kind of limited with what you can do there. But our first combine is full 96%, so we need to go over and get that emptied out. Let's have a look. We're on field 35. Cell point do we? Field 35, oh, are they both called, oh no, Grain Corp, it is the one on the other side. That's the gear, uh, that's the gearing trading, it is. I'm doing that, I'm going to sail past the gate. Flavor Dave's gaming, I'm doing well, thank you, how you doing? Good to see you. Right. We get all the way around the field. Funny, it feels like a big field, but then you do two headland passes and 50 foot headers, and it's chewing through it. So, not too bad. Of course, not the biggest, biggest field on the map. It is by land area because it includes all the trees in the corner. But, uh, how big is it? Question, good question. 157 acres. It's probably about a no, 80 acre field. Maybe about half taken up with trees, half not. Maybe a little bit more. You're excited, but I'm sure Thursday will be rough. Start a local case dealership the following Monday. Never dreamt you'd be working where your son's learning mechanics. That's pretty cool. cool work. You're not with your son effectively, but in the same place as them. Good on you for going and doing something, uh, changing your career, I guess. A lot of people would be too scared to do that, they just get stuck in the same thing and that's them till retirement, so good on you. At least, I guess, by having to go to the other side of the map, it gives us the chance to take the trucks for a drive. Check out the cell point, see how it all works. The triggers are all there properly. Now, I think, actually, there's, I think you can just start to see the bug there. I think when you cut down trees on the map, um, the level of detail, so the, to the way the trees are made, they have a billboard on them. See how you can see it twisting? So the billboards, the level of detail aspect, I think there's something not changed in the settings, which means even though you can see the full tree model, you can still see the level of detail billboard. 
Um, so the idea is when you're looking at a tree from a distance like the ones on the other side of the field you just see a flat two-dimensional image which rotates relative to your viewing position you can see those rotating inside the trees whoops I know someone made a comment on the Facebook page that they'd cut some trees down and uh, still had the billboard there Well, I hope you're not offended that I'm driving green equipment tonight then, Rusty. Hey. Listen. This is when I find out these green carts don't actually work. No, it just wasn't close enough to the trigger. It's only just big enough, you wouldn't want to run a 60 foot header with this auger. Parker, that was you, there we go. And it was you that tagged me in the uh, post too, wasn't it? Always paint a red. <laughs> uh, won't find me doing that, Rusty. If I want a red tractor, I'll use a McCormick. Or a Versatile. Or a Massey. Backed up out of the way. We should be able to sit. Oh, still not far enough. No. Should be able to sit about here and wait for the next one to arrive. How much further are they? Are? Not too far behind us. Should we go and get a truck while we're here? Go. K100. Okay, Always paint it red. Oh, you'll always be remembered as the man with the red John Deere. sounding truck. A bit of a haul over the other side of the map though when you look at where we've got to go all the way around. All the way down to the right hand side, all the way along that side and all the way along the bottom to get to where we need to be. Never did hear from FSG. Uh, we would have had a chuckle. Right. Here we go. Now, to find. 75%, so catch up to us. Just about the right spot. See how empty we can get them before we get to the corner. Looking nice looking grain cars, these Finch Australian Engineering Company, I believe. And these are from I think it's Aussie Modern Corporation, I think they were released on there. 
I downloaded them to use them on Southern Cross and then, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I've used the Southern Cross mod folder to uh, set this up. Hey Brook, what's up with you? Good run for now, take care, Ags and crew. Cheers, Bear, thanks for stopping in, mate. Just to hear you're enjoying the Chili Whack farm. Always enjoy seeing screenshots, so if you or anything you want to share, so if you drop some screenshots or show what you've been doing into our Discord, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, just like a bought one. Look at that. What a well oiled machine. Satisfying. Once we get this field opened, what I really wanted to try, I haven't used the course play unloaders for um the grain carts yet. I tried doing it on um potatoes which didn't work too well. We might give that a whirl. Here we go. Are they empty? They are empty. We'll catch up to the other one now. This is, I know we've talked about this one before. Some people might not know, when you put your cruise control on, so we've got our cruise control set at 6. If you're on a keyboard and you use the, num, uh, the numbers, so number 3, 1 and 2, puts your cruise control speed up and down. Did you know, and some people might not know that, if you long press 3, if you hold 3 down, it will set your cruise control to max. I found that by mistake, it literally only... A, less than a year ago, I think it was early in FS22, or it might have been late at 19. Never knew. So, there might be others of you out there who did not know that. So, I used to always cycle between my cruise control for um, whatever I needed for the equipment. So, for example, 6 here for these. Um, I should be in kilometres too, seeing from really. I used to always have to cycle, and I'd set it to high and low again. But just have to hold the button. Same works with my controller. I use um, the key combinations I use on my controller. Just long press them and it'll lock out at the max. Handy little tip. I'm putting one on about. There we go. Jim didn't know that. Oh, I've helped one person out. Please. <laughs> Thank you for making call. Well, you're more than welcome, Brooke. More than welcome. Need to get back to making more call videos. I didn't realise how few actual uh, episodes of anything called or pre-recorded videos I'd done in the last three or four weeks until I was looking at my YouTube content. Gosh, gosh, there's a lot of live streams, but not met anything else. What have we got driving today? like he's pretty committed, he knows what he's doing, which is good, always good to have a knowledgeable combine operator. Is this map live or still in work? Scott, this map is available now, uh, there's a link in my in the description for it, um, but just basically from the Aussie Farming Sim Facebook page. Uh, probably still needs a little bit of work, to be perfectly honest with you, I'm not going to sugarcoat it and say it's the greatest map and the most refined map ever does have a few, um, could use some improvements, but generally it's um, pretty good. If you wanted to come for something with some nice big open fields, if you wanted something that was looking, you know, 100% realistic and, you know, highly detailed, probably not the map for you, but, you know, we'll have a look at the PDA there for you. 
decent amount of fields, but all pretty big. So we're up here in 35, 100, oh, it's 150 acres, but it's got this bit in the corner. So it's about an 80 acre field, but number 44, 35 down here is uh, 244 acres, or almost 100 hectares, depending on how you want to look at it. So decent, decent size. Kakoro, hope I've pronounced your name correctly, welcome along, great to have you here. Do the New Zealand map, the country I live. I'd love to do a New Zealand map, bro. No, this is a PC only map, PC only, I think, four times. Alright, where are we going with this? This truck in. To unload. Like that there. Jump into the truck. Would be good to have a New Zealand map though, wouldn't it, bro? Love it. What part of New Zealand do you live in, bro? Julian, good evening. Greetings to you from New Zealand. Welcome to the stream. Great to have your company. We're going to fill this up without even emptying the grain cart out. What's going to empty first? Just going to get the grain cart emptied out. How close to full are we in the truck? 92%. Okay. Get that filled up and then we'll try setting up some course play on uh, the auger wagon. Looks more finished than Hannah. You gotta take things with the some maps you gotta just look at and take with a pinch of salt. Because uh I know Hannah was um Hannah was done as a bit of a challenge to say that he could do it in two weeks. Which is admirable. It's other ones that um Yeah. Other maps out there which haven't quite been as well finished as they could and been released as fully finished maps that frustrate me more. But I do get I, I do get the feeling that you know, there's plenty of people out there who've gone, oh look, map making's easy, I can download Giant Z Editor and anyone can do it. And so we're we're stuck between this place of having these talented map makers like Oxygen David and Farmer Andy and others who um, produce these beautiful maps and we get spoiled with those and then we forget that everyone had to start somewhere and their first effort might not be the most beautiful map but perhaps it, they learn a lot from that and the next one's going to be the next calmest and farms. who knows they are large fields Julian, very large, large Epic Domain, good afternoon, welcome along. Pleasure to have you here. Another Aussie map, it is another Aussie map, Scott. It is indeed. A 4x set in uh, Victoria. About halfway between Adelaide and Melbourne, so what would you call that? Northwest Victoria? Uh, now you are. Julian, is the auger wagon, can see the auger wagon is a Finch, Finch Engineering, it's an Australian engineering company, um, and these were released on the Aussie Modern Corporation page, I think, I'm doing that from memory now, along with a few other things actually, some, some other cool Aussie equipment, um, things like these diamond harrows, I haven't had a chance to use yet, but 60 foot wide harrow, um, 
and same thing but using a call it prickle chain so you can see the chains here look like prickles um there was also what else came in the pack ah the rake big big v rake um 12 meter wide v rake pretty neat got the 60 foot wide um air cedar and also a 40 foot wide one which comes with that air cart and bear with me there's something else oh the um forward air cart there as well cool. and then yeah here's the those finch engineering grain cart moment All right, let's give this a whirl. So, let's get into force play unload. We need our field target. Seek giants unloader deactivated. Force play. Why not? I think we just restart job. And they'll do their thing. I hope. Not unload combine, they say go. They're probably just waiting for a combine to be full enough because they're only. Um, only 40% for the fullest one. Yeah. All right, tap the trailer. Trailers. Let's go for a drive. How do you like the map? Any, any complaints? Oh, uh, for a first look, uh, it's quite nice, nice big fields. Um, there's a few issues with frame rates, and I'm trying to figure out what that is, whether it's just my settings, but... Um, and the, the map size 1.3 gig seems really big, considering there's not a whole lot of custom models or anything in there. Uh, I know there's an issue with the trees, you can see them as you drive past, they flick, and that's the level of detail. Um, Billboard which they use in there for the trees. Some of those aren't hidden, so um but yeah, you know, generally it's, it's a nice nice map in terms of you just look at purely at the fields and some of the features. Um there's a whole lot of sheds in it that you can build, build your own farm, um, which is quite nice. I like the big wide gates that going into the field. You can open both gates if you want, or only open one. So yeah, for for a first take it's um it's nice. But we've only, yeah, only spent, what, this part of 50 minutes playing on it, so. Just little things like that. What's that, a floating gate up there? What is that up there? Actually? Have a look. Yeah. Put my light on. Floating fence. Just things like that, and I noticed that if anyone has a look, there's one of those in Chilliwack. There's a floating ladder in Chilliwack above the middle of the map. Hey Jim, thanks for stopping in, mate. Sorry I missed your message there. I will uh, certainly enjoy it. Any farming simulator for your old PS3 sometimes after I had. Time to upgrade, Julian. If you enjoyed 15, you will uh, be blown away by 22. Old Av, good to see you. Welcome, mate. Hope you're also doing well. Nice to have you here. Two weeks with Hannah, yeah. Yeah, it was a uh, bit of a challenge between him and uh, Dinner's Farm. Oh, we meant to take that turn. This goes nowhere. Uh, fortunately, it's not a... The, the trailer doesn't have a turntable on it. Oh. You had frame rate trouble? Yeah. Yeah, certainly noticeable epic. I do have my graphics turned on. I think I've got my little view distance and foliage view distance set to about 400% at the moment um, but yeah you look across 
what are we doing at the moment 19 20 frames per second but something on the map because it's not the model it's not the truck because that way I'm getting you know, my 50s no issues certainly something something affecting it but. hey Mark how are you pleasure to see you as always is our unloader oh, our unloader is driving somewhere Good. One's the unloader there. Yeah, I'm assuming. Yeah. We'll have to find a combine. We'll have to keep an eye on the uh, combines down in the bottom left corner and see if they get emptied out. Julian, your other hobby is collecting toy cars from different brands and sizes. The cars are from 1956 to 2022. That's an awesome collection. How many do you have total in your collection, Julian? Dozens, hundreds, thousands. What a cool little hobby though. Usually around 60 FPS on Forex maps, graphics on high and on this map you get about 30. 2250, wow. An awesome, awesome collection. If you've got any photos, I'd love to see them. Exclamation and put them in Discord if you'd like to join. Exclamation mark Discord will give you a link for that. You can uh, go in there and find it and if you're interested, you'd love to see it. Had uh, someone in here a wee while ago who made knives and uh, they shared some of their knives with us, that was pretty fascinating. Always enjoyable learning what those of you in the community do, who your hobbies are or what your jobs are and things like that. Yeah, what are we so sitting on 40? It's certainly something somewhere in the middle of the map. I wonder if it's the gates or the fences. Well, how well optimized some of those are. Those gates are pretty well, they're pretty low poly if you looked at them closely. The tubing's pretty uh, square, it might be 12 faces, maybe. Certainly something in the middle of the map, doesn't it? Choose at the frames. Are oh, you golfer, Mark? What's your record? How many have you lost in one go? It's all genocide. Oh, I probably do. Well, I play a little, two or three rounds a year if I'm lucky. Um, but one of the clubs I've played at is a out of bounds down the right hand side and it's a dog leg hole left and it's a par 5 huge wide fairway you can aim, aim down the left hand edge always in my mind I think I'm going to go out of bounds here and invariably I do I'll hit it out of bounds and then I'll get angry and hit another ball it'll go even further out of bounds amazing how much of it's just in your head Julian, you gave a subscription like what you see from the live stream. Awesome, mate. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Hopefully you enjoy some of the other things we do. If you're, uh, if you've enjoyed, if you've got the platinum, or you just, you're just, uh, you don't have 22, but um, we're running a little community competition called the Logging League, which will start this time next week. Um, so some competitive logging. See how that goes, though. It'll be a little bit interesting, but I think it could be a lot of fun. A lot of fun, our little trial we did the other day. A little impromptu trial, I just had the idea uh, when we were streaming with the farm some guy. And he and I had a go 1v1, and then with the others that were on the server, we set up a 3v3, and it actually worked pretty cool. Hmm. We have a full grain tank. Grain tank grain tank we don't have a unloader emptying it oh they've got to him b's got to a good start don't actually know who the unload point is here looks like it might be here There's Start tipping that, and I'm just going to go check my contract to make sure we're filling some of that. 
going out. Uh, which one is it? What are we? 35. 20% transported. Okay, yes. We're good. 20%? A lot. Gosh, that truck. Tips empty. Tips empty. Tips quickly. <laughs> Empties out quickly. Right, there we are. I've probably come in the wrong way. We should have come in over the uh, way bridge and past the sampling probe. Yeah, rule breakers. Yeah. That was a nice drive. Now, we're actually just going to pull off because we don't look like we're getting any combines emptied out. Let's see what we get. Well, I've got a semi sort of position. I'm assuming they're lined up on that one. Now, is there a setting? Can anyone tell me? Horse plate. Is it setting? Pathfinder. Uh, horse empty. If the unload is filled, it won't wait. No. So. I wonder if I need to go into the combines. Ah, uh, see, it is too wide. Um, we're at setting to call. No. No, nothing there. Okay. The head is too close. Let's see if we can tweak. Because I think there's an offset setting in here we can tweak, isn't there? Tool offset horizontal. Um, just a touch. That's what I played around with last time, I think. That's when we were doing potatoes. Cool truck, Kenworth it is, the Kenworth K100. So that's gone the wrong way, I think that's a little closer. Go to find it. See if that fixes it. You hit five balls off to the right into the woods one day, found all within five square metres consistently rubbish. <laughs> Alright, let's see if our... No, oh, yeah, it's looking a little bit more promising. Gonna go past? Oh, I think I can offset that even a little bit more. Oh, it's got so close. Here are the poppies building. You state that's work. Uh, all right, let's um, let's manually do this and get these guys moving again. Don't want to do that one first because it'll get stuck behind this one. We'll go down here. This dude moving again. We're going for the longer auger model. I wonder if it's quite a narrow hitbox in the uh, growing cart. Can we? How far away from here can we get? Well, maybe some distance. Anyhow. I oh, can you do it on the HUD as well. Oh, yeah, tool offset horizontal. But they were too. Um, we'll, we'll, I'll try that a little bit more. Get it to work. We'll just get these emptied out first, though. Uh, that one's the one percent. 
and then we'll set it we'll set it firing again and see if we can get it to work or not um try have to try temp and bowling the ball always comes back uh, Designing a um, bowling alley at the moment, or an extension to a bowling alley, is always interesting. Doing something different, something that has a little bit of a custom requirements around space and that. It's about as far away as we can get. Good speed unload on these combines actually. And a good sized grain cart too. Maybe 50,000 litres. Yoren, mini me and beard, wife and I sit with snacks and drinks, time for some farms. Nice mate, nice, good times. Alright, that'll do for that one. We'll head on back down here, we'll get the truck back over here, we'll be able to unload the cart and then try that all again. I think he's got life pretty well sorted there, Mark. I agree. Hey, December Farms, how you doing? Great to see you. You missed the bowling life, Rusty. You grew up in a 12 lane alley owned by your parent. Do you have the uh, rattle of the pins getting whacked by the balls in, um, embedded in your brain? Just such a distinctive sound. That there, we'll be able to drive the truck straight and under, go back and find it. So you were asking about the truck, Julian, this is a Kenworth K100. It's made by JFL Modding. You can find it on Facebook. We've also got a K200. Very cool trucks. Very cool. Farmer Ed, how you doing? Can't stop us out for Christmas dinner with the local driving instructors. Might just stop and say hi. Thanks for stopping in and saying hi. Appreciate that, my friend. Enjoy your dinner. And we will uh, catch up with you again sometime in the next few weeks. I should uh, actually turn my, my Santa overlays on, shouldn't I? Do that, do that closer to Christmas. Let's not get too carried away. Good to catch the stream trying to relax. Nice one. It's been a great day for the little one, been to one of those indoor playgrounds, he went nuts. Now it's time for the adults, got some nice cheeses and a nice Belgian triple, awesome. Is it one of those indoor playgrounds where dad can have a playground on it as well? I like those ones the best. And they're big enough for an adult, but safe enough for a little child. <laughs> Of course, uh, Australia or Argentina would have just kicked off, wouldn't it? Hey, Nismo. How you doing, mate? Morning, Trey. Good to see you. Checking your little ones. Hello. It's the Peter Minia. A bit of mini eggsy, is it? Yeah. Uh, pretty plumbing. Mm -hmm. Apparently, he's the better one. A bit of mini eggsy. A mini mini eggsy. Little person. <laughs> you can relax a bit, it's pretty safe though. He is only three and a half and wants to go to the bigger kids' areas. <laughs> yeah. Uh. 
Uh, amazing how kids worldwide are all the same, aren't they? Hello, Simulation Station. Welcome along. I am doing well, thank you. How about yourself? It's a child's prerogative to go where, they didn't, where the parents don't want them to. You know that. Right. We are... Where are we? Hustling along at the moment. Very true, very true. Keep you on your toes, they do. Do. I'm in cab and see how this handles the frame rate. There. Beautiful tree lined rural gravel road. The extra engine load heading up the hill. Oh, and two frames per second going through there a little bit. Just got the little one down for a nap, now time to enjoy some dead time on the PC. Love it. Love it, simulation station. Make the most of it. It's about now that the wife will come with the list of things to go do. Is now that they're asleep, you go do this, 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 and this. It's alright, combines are 20% full. What are they? They must be stuck on each other. We've run into a issue, I think, on our land setup. They're going zero miles per hour and they are not harvesting. Oh, I wonder if the truck's in the way, or the grain cart's in the way for starting the first land. Could be that, actually, could be that. All will be revealed in just a moment. Can't wrong about that. Ah, good morning, Peter. How you doing? Good to see you. Oh, no, it looks like they're caught on each other. Are down the field a little bit further. The first few lands where it gets very skinny down there were very um, very short just because of the orientation of the field. Alright, and... Fix this. Uh, which one am I in? I'll be in this one. It would actually be quicker for me probably to do this manually up and down to the corner than it would be for these guys to cut across. All tidy up. <clears throat> no man's lands on the fourth person doing well. I did notice that actually. I noticed December had finished his go on it and it had moved on to Gaming Joy. Pretty cool. I'm enjoying it. Enjoying seeing what you guys are all doing. Ah, what a time to join. Ah, there's someone I can blame. It's your fault that that happened again. How are you, FSG? Good to have you here, mate. Welcome. How's your week been, mate? You had a busy one down in London. I hope it was successful. Worthwhile trip. The big question on everyone's lips though. Surviving Wyoming, is it gonna to be tomorrow? 
or are we all going to have to anxiously wait to see the outcome for another uh, seven days? Not stopping long out again tonight. Good week. Awesome, man. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Ah, so Steggy's going to get it next, is he? Be cool to actually uh, land back in, land back in our laps. Maybe um, sometime in the new year, we'll have to do a live stream or something on it and see the progress that everyone's made. Not finished yet. He's quitting a 15-hour render with all the special effects. Goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's not. <laughs> Gaming Joy's been going good on No Man's Land. Awesome. Probably got stitched up and came back with a lighter wallet. Probably. <laughs> Cheers Farmer Red, enjoy your dinner mate, and we'll certainly catch you again soon. Just do sound effects for the explosion. Blame it on a EMP pulse or something like that. Your camera battery went flat, so you've got to, uh, got to do something else. A voiced over boom. There you go, Mark's, Mark signed up for it. Get Mark to record a boom. One thing I need to suss out actually is whether the fences are when fences are done as placeables and therefore able to be demolished. One thing I wasn't sure of. Hey, old cranky, how are you? Good to see you. All right, hopefully now we've got to the point where the um, where the lands are big enough, or the passes are long enough, and not having more issues. Just one more little piece to harvest here. And then we'll be able to go and join in. Alright, let's go. Uh, Hey Steve, how are you? Welcome. David, how are you doing as well mate? Great to see you here. Amazing how you don't get much further to reveal how long it takes to harvest these, even with big equipment. You're off taking Mrs. FSG out for dinner, haven't seen each other all week, and it means I can record Hannah and Diana in the morning too. Good man. Oh, enjoy. sure she gets a uh, nice kiwi wine. Nice, nice. What does she enjoy? She's a sav drinker, isn't she? A nice New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. 
gonna... Alright, let's put this on nearest. Let's see what happens. Back to it. Good. See you, mate. Okay, we'll catch you later on. Alright, we're gonna find our... Brain card. We need to jump into the truck. Open that other cover. New Zealand servers are favourite for sure. Yeah, he just joined out. I'm chatting about it the other day. Ah, not even full. Right. So let's try this auto uh, course biking. Still set up to go. Let's play. It's uh, just specifying our target. Great job. Unload, click in the right field. Type as it. Alright, sit in here for a little bit and see what happens. Unfolds the flashes, like any good grain cart operator should. Get Axie to FarmCon. Cheers, mate. We'll catch you later on. It's been a good stream so far, or it will carry on that way. Tell you what, you want to get out to the farm con, you tell the airlines to lower their flight flight prices. What do I just see on YouTube here? He's released a map for the Richlands, Ohio. Really neat plotting. Nice. Another new map. After a while of quiet map time, um, there's been a few lately. Good. So we're just going to sit here and wait and see what happens with the grain cart. I really want to try and get it working. Chinook's back, he's been dealing with a crew issue. Now, just in time to hear me moan about Elon prices. Chinook. Did you give them the sack? Get rid of them? Best way to deal with crew. Good bugger. Need some competition in the country. Right, how full are they? Oh, this is the annoying part because they're only on a short part of the field. They're only, uh, getting full. To come down here and start on these bigger blocks. Can't be too far away. Look. Down doing the last piece. Hope. This is going to be interesting when they get to that little part. Hopefully it doesn't break. It's going. So did someone stay out too late last night? Channel can get hung over at the Christmas party or something, and it's not able to make their uh, flights this morning.
really bounces over these wind rows, doesn't it? Over the swath. I say it's very clever how they made course play work for 22, where it uses the outside path to try and avoid collisions into trees and fences and things. through the contract are we? Good question. Are we here? Not even halfway through. We'll get a bit further once we've done some uh done another delivery but sort of all five crew called six seven to find more crew if not we'll have to cancel the flight, my oh, goodness. Set with permissions, nice. Interesting to see you guys back on Carmston Farms. Pretty cool. Get the server up and running. So if anyone wants to join, it's a PC only server, isn't it, team? Um, running another multiplayer server on Carmston Farms. And check it out. It's going well, that's good to hear. Mr. Burns. Unfortunately, yes, with the mods we have. Oh, that is what it is. We've we've had some crossplay servers and haven't had a huge amount of uh, use of them, have we? I think. I think for the most part, console players are still getting used to the fact that they can actually play crossplay with multi with uh, PC players if they're set up properly. management game. Good though, I could almost see, maybe we'll, maybe we'll have a bit of a play, if I can sort out what the frame rate issues are on this, maybe we, maybe we buy some fields. I've bought this area up here, um, in fact, I want to go and buy some sheep, because I want to see how how big the pasture is, I don't actually know what the capacity of the pen is, um, which I should be able to tell. Because it's in the placeable menu, isn't it? Custom. Cheap. 240. At least he's, it's, it's scaled up from the base game one, 240. Takes the custom crops, that'll be kind of cool. Give them some Lucerne. Or Alfalfa. Well, maybe we'll play on this for a little bit. Get rid of the trees. Get rid of all the trees and see if that fixes it. Alright, where is this grain cart? Are they getting close to thinking about coming and unloading a tractor yet? A combine? Uh, no, I don't have Maze Plus on this map, David. Those um, additional crops are built into it, so we've got Tristacal and Lucerne. Um, I haven't actually seen what they look like. Do, let's do a little bit of a test. Let's try this. 10. Let's find... Uh, Set field fruit on 43. 
Let's see if I can add some lucerne onto that one. Uh, growth. Let's make it three liter harvest. Have a look at that. There we go. That one's done. Um, let's do it on field one. Oh, grain cart's moving. Um, in fact, let's not do field one. Let's do field thirteen because it's close. Down there, field thirteen. Is it field ground? Let's go thirteen. Triticale, and let's go to ready to harvest one. Tab through to something that's parked down there. Go and have a look. There we go, that's a lucerne ready to harvest. So, not quite as vibrant with the flowers as some of the others are. Maybe it's the growth state, maybe the flowers are a little bit withered. Uh, I'll get weird beat. Other side and have a look at the trip cow. It's built here, isn't it? 10, 13. That's the trip cow ready to harvest. Because that can be made into was it baled as well? There's the Lucerne one row. Hay or silage from it, or grass from it. What is going on with you? Hey Tim, how are you? Great to see you. What mod unloads the combine? Are you asking about automatically? I'm trying to use course play at the moment. Size man. Um, but so far I would say auto drive does a better job through my limited play tests of it. Ah, Tim brought his friends with him. I'm doing well mate, doing well. Ah, uh, cruise control. Oh. Right. That could be my problem last time. Of course they choose while I'm here, that's it. We've got one combine's 92%. But see, by the time he gets down there to unload them, they're going to be full and turning around and going back the other way. So, let me waste of time. You've been absolutely swamped. It's been crazy. It's been much the same for me, mate. Much the same. Limited access to uh, doing things. Getting some, any time to do things. Been a bit of a bummer, but. It is what it is, it's life isn't it? You deal with curveballs and challenges that throws at us. Armchair Egg, how you doing? Just noticed the cruise control set to 6 on the grain cart. I did too. <laughs> Thank you for picking up on that. It's interesting because I think auto drive overrides cruise control but course play doesn't. Keep missing the live streams, feeling a bit left out. I love the new series you guys are doing, very fun. Keep an eye out this time next week, Tim, because all going to plan, we'll be running our inaugural logging league competition. Um, or league. Competitive logging league. We're probably starting about now, we might have just started, we haven't 100% finalised the time, but it'll be around about now, next week. So... Sunday morning New Zealand Australia time, Saturday afternoon US and Saturday evening UK and Europe. We have four teams entered, entered at the moment. So we're just finalising how we're going to run it, whether we do a four, four team pool and end up with a semi-final of 1v4 and 2v3 or we, we just run a straight up... Um, straight to finals 1v2 or what we do it'll be time dependent but we've we're estimating it about looking back on the last stream we did it's about a 20 minute um 
well it's actually about 14 minutes for the three people to do it it was about 17 minutes for one person so be interesting to see what happened and they're coming in thick and fast right about now thank you mark for dealing with those rusty gotta go see you later mate take care um you streaming at all any time over the weekend or in the next few days try and stop in if you are um but uh good luck with the last few days mate good luck and hope you enjoy your last few shifts in uniform and uh hope you're looking forward i know you're looking forward to the new role but um hope it all goes to plan for you are we editing the videos to just the streams for now for the logging leak wow well, we might try and do a highlights video i haven't actually we haven't actually really talked about it haven't talked about haven't figured it out yet exactly details but uh no doubt when we're recording hannah and deanna a little bit later on we'll have a good chat about it then right so the full combine is the trailing one because it took a full header width going along that long one that they're doing now and they've got their auger out so let's go and see if this will unload it would have been quicker me doing it manually but go and see Looks like we're only going to have time to do one of the five contracts I picked up. I had contemplated splitting the combines between two fields, but... Let's chat again soon, some things will move forward with the stuff we chatted about as well as a few other very nice opportunities. Yeah, a crossover. Nice, mate. Yeah. Always down for a chat. Right, so I've got this set with the one and a half meter offset. It's either going to be too much, or we're going to have the same issue we had last time where the tractor won't go past the header. Or it's going to be perfect. Which one are we aiming for? See, this won't go past the header. What? Horseplay, you're fired. Nice week of business stuff weekdays during the day. I'll reach out to you. Connect. Yeah, man. We'll sort something out. No doubt. I'm going to shamble. I almost want to try auto drive out now and see if auto drive will go better. In fact, what do you reckon? Let's do it. Uh, how full is that other combine? Ah, waiting. Alright, let's unload this other combine and I'm going to set up an auto drive course and see if that works with this combine and. Uh, with this grain card and combine combo. Monday or Tuesday, it's a busy week with your Toys for Tots program. Oh, of course. Of course. Do you have a, um, do you have a way to support that, Rusty? Has that got a, like, a give a little page or a donation link or anything like that? Your Toys for Tots program? If you do, drop it in chat. I'm more than happy for you to share that. Start a series on the NC map on drawing the platinum updates and some very cool new mods that we've got 19. Which fun. Absolutely. Hey, Scotty, how are you, mate? Watching one on lunch break. Good to have you here, man. Good to have you. How's the job going? Do the program coordinator help give Christmas to over 150 kids every year in our area. I remember talking to you about it last year as well, Rusty. Very, very impressive. Right, that's empty. Can I get a GIF to pop up on screen using Stream Deck? Um, I imagine so. 
I mean, oh, well, sorry, I can't because I don't have a stream deck. You made me say it. Damn you. <laughs> um, but I would have thought there'd be a way you can because you can do animated um, animated alerts for things. Separate scene, it could work. Yeah, it's just an, it's just an overlay. In fact, you can because I had... Um, where is it? There you go, I've got animated snow as an overlay. What was the source for that? Is that a, is that a GIF or a... Oh, that's an MP4. But that just plays. And I did have... I haven't put that back in. I did have a snowball that hit the screen. That was last year's last Christmas. Shenanigans. The idea was I was trying to set up an alert where if someone donated they could throw a snowball at me. You just brought the brand new stream with the you have to set it up still looking forward to playing with it. Yeah, I, I want to get one. I just haven't just haven't <laughs> there's no other reason. It's on the list of things. Steering wheel. Um, what's the other thing? Alright, let's go and try and do an auto drive. Let's hit this. Didn't have a reason other than it looked cool. That's a good enough reason for me. Alright, so if we start a course recording here. Ah, uh, no, go that way. I'm not too worried about the course because I'm not going to use um, auto drive for the truck. So Did close it. Alright, let's put a label on that one. GC. Uh, let's be GC unload. Over here. Another one. F35. Oh. Swearing GC wait. Right, now. That combine unload. That I'll GC wait. The unload. Play. Unless they know harvester found, so we go on the harvesters. Go into here and say we want GC weight for that one. We want GC weight for that one. Back to our grain cart. And I'm just going to change settings in here. Uh, no, it's in the combines. It's the colder. Ah, there. Um, pre cool level. Oh, 60 is okay in this field. They're not going a long way. Right, let's leave that going now. And let's take this truck back to cell point. Right. You can set up multiple pages and switch them with the dials. I'm going to mess around with it and set up if it's 22 profile it'll show in it. Oh, cool man. Yeah, I'm I'm keen to keen to check one out and get one. I think it'll be a welcome addition. I've always had that um what is the one you gave me? Touch. I'm not gonna say it because it'd sound even worse than normal. But I've always had that ready to set up, but um it just scared me with trying to write the macros and everything for it. All the, the rules and all controls. How I work at these blocked by an object. No, not there. Ah. A blocked by an object. 
Well, that's where it would have been nice if it picked up the edge of the course here and uh, didn't do that. Put one on your Christmas list just cause <laughs> you're not sure if the wife will go for it. Uh, touch portal, that's the one. I've got a voucher for a tech retailer here that I should probably go and use. I was keeping an eye out if there was any good um, Black Friday or Cyber Monday sales on it, but I think I think that blew my socks off and thought, yep, have to get that. Yeah, um, Kerem, that's the um, like touch portal which Tim's talking about. That's one that you can use a, a mobile device to um, set up as a Stream Deck type controller. How <laughs> I can make you more efficient with macro keys. <laughs> it'll be the opposite, you realise that it'll be. You'll spend so much time programming it to do stuff you'll hardly ever use. on that down to the other side of the map go and get this sold hopefully by the time we're back we're going to have had a grain cart going empty and in fact the problem is how full is the grain cart 57% okay could have taken the other Kenworth we should be right shh don't say that part I know <laughs> uh Didn't miss the corner this time, we've learnt. Get discounts at Nolim. Yeah, my wife gets those too through um, where she works, the university. It's tempted to set up a spare keyboard. That, yeah, I've thought about doing that too, remember. Like touch portal, but it's tough for my remote live streams. Right, dude. You feed up on the PC trying to make cool buttons and figure out how to use it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You said that thing was going to take time away. I uh, give us time back, not take it away. Happy days. Oh, it's been a pleasure getting back to streaming tonight, this morning for me, but it's been a pleasure being back here. Streaming? Nice. Nice, nice to be able to bring you a look at a uh, another new map that might interest some of you. Like I said, it's i uh, I'd call it a rough diamond. Diamond in the rough. It's, it's not polished and cut, but it has some nice parts. Most notably the big fields. But if you can look past some of the other bits and pieces, I think it could be fun to play on. I mean Western Australia, the 16x I played on was terrible with some of the some of the finishing and things like that, but um, it worked really well for what I wanted to do. So this could be the same. And it could be a replacement for Southern Cross Station. Maybe to move on from that for a little while. Bit of a change for my Wednesday night streams as well. Just like planning investor time up front to reap the rewards later. Exactly. Yeah, I'm, I'm pleased you're able to tune in as well, Tim. Linked in an alternative a couple of months ago. I mean, if you, if you really wanted to, you could get a little Raspberry Pi and build your own little one, couldn't you? My own little button box. I thought about doing that for Farm Summit when I build my own little button box, but... Like a side panel type thing. Just for the experience. I 
You'll probably find we get fleeced here in New Zealand on prices for that. Current one. Yeah. 500 bucks for the XL. The one with the dials on it, the plus is 400. What do you think is better, the, the dials with less buttons or the XL with lots of buttons? Or 300 just for the how many buttons on that 15 button? Too many, too many choices. Your nephew's college tournament would have missed you had he not got him beaten by the guy ranked fifteenth in the country. <laughs> uh, what what's what were they playing, Tim? What sport was that? I like that this map has a lot of large fields. Large fields also appeal to Western Aussie. Something about large fields, large equipment, just happily combining non-stop. I agree. Yeah. Yep. I think there's some scope to to increase it. So what I was thinking was I'd like to run the uh, run the sheep part of it. So maybe a little little sheep operation running just having the equipment needed to bail some lucerne and keep them happy um, and then likewise having um, having the sort of custom cropping side of things going because I want to try out some of this other equipment that I haven't used yet the oh, stop brakes don't fail me now Wrestling tournament, there we go. Very little. Uh, you bought the regular four button, and so far I cannot think of anything more that I need. Yeah, interesting. Some dashboard is pretty cool. Some dashboard's awesome for um, farm sim, absolutely. I suppose some dashboard might have. Does it have interfacing? And there's a way it runs as a virtual server, right? But I suppose you could use it for both FarmSim and OBS or something at the same time. Imagine if that had OBS compatibility. Imagine if you could actually split the screen in half and say this this right half is OBS and this left half is FarmSim or something. That'd be pretty cool. Peter, you're playing Western Australia on Xbox and enjoying it. I'm so happy that um, Farmer Bob got that one onto cross-platform. The only thing that disappoints me is it won't work on PS4. And I'm not aware of there having been a fix or an update or anything put out to make it compatible. Which is a shame. Uh, I am looking and our grain cart has got... It is filling up as we speak. It's going up. It's on 75%. It was on 67 before. I think auto drive for um, unloader courses is just one out. Although it's stopped, and I'm a little bit confused why it's stopped. Just going to have a look and see if we can see a reason. Ah. Uh, combine's going. Uh, combine, so Combine's finished uh, land and going around. And the grain cart's now waiting. That makes sense. Use some uh, Stream Deck Plus for your development, testing, browsing, everything you can think of. Yeah. Interesting to see how you could use it to a smarter edit. Ways. Keys. Kind of like uh, FSG showed that um, editing keyboard you got. Alright, let's see if we can get this field finished and then we have to wrap things up to uh, get ready to go to football. Speaking of which, what's happening in the World Cup? Block your ears if you don't want spoilers, but I'm going to have a look. Okay. Ah, the little maestro.
USA is out unfortunately I did see that this morning some caught up with that one I actually thought the way it was set up there's an opportunity for some really like the way the upsets have been and the uh, unexpected results have been coming there was an opportunity for the likes of you know USA to beat Netherlands and Australia to come through against Argentina maybe Japan South Korea um, some of those teams to really come and upset the apple cart either that or take out some of the more fancied rivals and give Brazil a smoother run to the final Stepson's really big into the cup fun to be on it yeah, my boys are loving it my, um, old, my oldest boy. he's got a poster um, he's kept track of all the results from the pools and all the games and he's built out the top 16 and no doubt by the end of today he'll have the results all through and know who's well know the first quarter final at least the Netherlands are out next round if they play against Argentina like they did against the USA is that right if someone wants to try to plan a trip to Vegas next year at the same time as Formula 1 that'd be awesome <laughs> they won 3-1 though Yoren, can't be that bad how's our grain cart going, he's moving moving and grooving every time Costa Rica played I was looking at it going that could have been New Zealand if it wasn't for a couple of Interesting refereeing decisions. Uh, so, little known fact the Kiwi referee who refereed the. What game did Mr. Conga referee? France Tunisia game. In the disallowed goal in the last um, last kick of the game. He's he used to be a school teacher at my boys' school. Uh-oh. You need to take it pretty for football. Hey? Eh? Are you even watching the Argentina Aussie game? Oh, it's already half time it's already half time, you noodle. Hmm. Polite way to put it. Oh, you know me, Tim. Hey Jeremy, how are you mate? Great to see you. Now I need to park this sensibly so it doesn't get in the way. Alright, it's gonna happen what's happening with this grain cart. Look at this. Auto drive for the win. Auto drive all day long. Didn't have to change any offsets or anything. Just did it. Um, yeah, anyhow. He, <laughs> the ref, um, yeah, he used to be a teacher at school. And his, my, Amon, my oldest, is friends with his daughter. Who also goes to school. Did a website for an insurance company that was owned by an NFL ref. Fun talk. Interesting, eh? You're back, Brock. Welcome back. You're getting better at auto drive. Thanks, man. Please, I can help. Alright. So, how much, like, we would have. How many times did we try course plan? It didn't work. First, first run with auto drive. Boom. Now we just need to let this get into position. That's what we might do. We might go and turn the truck around. So, we're opposites. Easy. Steve, thanks for hanging out, mate. Have a good day, rest of your day. Good wee rest of your weekend. We'll catch you again, mate. Pleasure having you here. Oh, 
on your way to do a corporate party at Epic Games. Pretty excited to see what in, the inside of that place looks like. That is awesome. Epic Games. Um, they've got their big live event coming up in an hour, don't they? Fortnite Live. Alright, let's see what's going to happen here. Boom. I knew that was going to be a problem, is it? Oh. well that ends well said no one ever <laughs> oh where are you going now mate neighbors right auto drives out of the way oh that's hilarious ai don't look it's about to get really ugly what you're talking about everything's fine everything is fine yeah epic party epic games would be awesome band called ac dc akadaka baby making uh i'm not sure what babies you're gonna get from a combine and and a uh auger a auger cut Brain cut. I was just thinking we don't have our own silo to store any of the excess in. Maybe we're going to have to put one down. And develop this area into a bit of a yard, I think. Breeding on the Arxy channel. Uh, productive, they would be productive. Ooh, bit wide on there, but no braking. 62 miles per hour, 60 miles per hour in the corner. Alex, how you doing, mate? How's it going? Went to sleep at 2 this morning because I had to put tyres on a silage sack. Is that not one of the least rewarding jobs ever? Were they all full of water? Oh, I just remember. Any time I'd help cover a stack and you would just come back stinking of manky silage water. It was the most foul thing ever. Oh, goodness. It's not on the floor you ain't driving. Exactly. Hello Derek, welcome to the stream mate. Pleasure to have you here. Don't miss that spell. I don't either. Don't either. A bull zoo. Hear me. You either get a harvesting orca wagon or a combine with extra capacity. <clears throat> Cheers, December. We'll catch you again too soon, mate. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hated cleaning the silos. Nasty jobs, nasty jobs. They were all full of water, ended up getting splashed. I used to end up getting drowned, and just about drowning in the stuff. Just everywhere. Disgusting. Merry Christmas to you too, Brock. Merry Christmas. Can I stream this video all day? I'd love to, Derek, but uh, I am actually about to head off very soon. We have to get my boys to football. And I need to go and have some breakfast. But, we have a look, what a last pass, we are going to get things finished. It's just a case of whether we get it all delivered or not. Tim, pleasure mate, catch up with you again soon, make sure, um, yeah, we'll find some time to connect. can you can but don't have it on hot I 
What's that? Got on maybe even five with that because that pan gets really hot. Yeah. Boys cooking scrambled eggs for breakfast. He's all grown up. Cooking his own brekkie. Ping me on Discord. Yeah, for sure. You play rugby. It's soccer, dang it. Hey? The oil, oil. Put a little bit of butter in it. You can use butter. You have to cut some of it off. Made quite a lot of silage, had to stop cutting, so we had too much. It's a good problem to have. Hey, Tara, how you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. We're just, uh, just getting the last of our grain delivered, I hope. Checking out this new map. We are out, we're harvesting all the way over by those silos you can see in the distance on the horizon. Four kilometers across that way, so probably almost a... Well, it'd be an 8k drive, wouldn't it? Just thinking about it, because we're halfway along that road, which is 2k's, and we're over 3k's this way, and we go 4, so... Probably an 18k round trip by the time we've finished it. Why it takes so long? Hadn't really, th hadn't really given that too much thought. Daniel, is this map going to be converted to console as well? I highly unlikely, Daniel. Highly unlikely. It's a 4x map, so it's too big in the first place. Um, but I think it would require too much work 100% transported oh we're transporting our other fields now oh okay so this is where we've run into the problem because we've got two oat contracts it's actually transported one of the other oat contracts first that one there transfer it said we did field five because that's oats we're not actually going to finish that one until we've done that one yeah oh well it is what it is. We're not actually going to be able to complete contract on 35 until we go and do 5. Right. We'll get back over to the field. They'll be finished and we'll wrap things up from there. See you, mate. Oh. Um, there might be some at the top, but I... You have a look. Might be okay. Which money am I getting? Derek, this is a contract, so I don't get any money until I've completed the contract. Um, on the top shelf, somewhere. I'm good starting to feel better after being sick for about a week. Oh, that's not good, Tara. I'm pleased to hear you are getting better, though. You're just getting over COVID. Yeah, yeah it seems to be going through again. We've dodged it this so far. Hey Eseb, how you doing mate? Nice to see you. Got a parts list for your PC build, just need to save now and find a second hand GP. Good luck mate, good luck with that one. Ah, oh, there's still one more pass. Graincart's doing its thing though. Good, good, good. Not COVID bronchitis, oh, never nice either. And in the two hours I've been sitting here, it's successfully managed to grow over. It's nice and blue and bright this morning, and it's now looking a bit overcast. You sleep for three days, you're not tired now. You, don't you find, though, when you've been sleeping because you're sick, you're tired because your body's been trying to recover? It's probably, you're still just as tired, even though you've had more sleep. I find that. I, I don't sleep, I might have six hours a night, which is, you know, double what Mark might do. But... Once I'm up and going, I'll get tired, and but I, I feel just as tired if I've slept for 10 hours as I do, so. 
Where in New world do you live? I live in New Zealand, Ida Valley, back road. I live in the Manawatu, Brook. Just outside Palmerston North. Catch you later, Alex. Thanks for the stopping in, mate. Have a nice day. Looking forward to seeing you next week for the logging league, mate. Keep it free next Sunday morning. We will be uh we'll be doing it. Not sure what you're doing, just listening to your cousin. Can't wait to see the logging leave, it sounds like fun. It is gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. We'll, uh, we'll start pumping it up more during the week, I think. Doing some more promo stuff for it. Many viewers and contestants and things that we can. Hi, Tets? Question mark. How are you, man? Good to see you. Just in time for the end. We're just heading back to the field. Get the last of the grain. Hopefully, the combines will be finished and it will be done for the day. Yeah, it's, I'm looking forward to doing the casting and everything for it, Tara. I think you've helped Alex already on Discord, Mark. He's A Mills on my Discord. He put up some specs for a couple of PCs a week or two ago. Yeah, I'm good, mate. Good. Always something going on in life at the moment. No downtime. Whatsoever. Right. Almost back. And our 9 kilometer, 18 kilometer round trip. Think good if you had mileage counters on these trucks. That'd be cool. I'd rather have mileage than hours on a truck. Much more interesting to know. Oh, that was an emergency break if ever I've seen one. Just about overshot. All right, park that up there. Combine has emptied itself out or not? Or is it just sitting here waiting to empty out? Has emptied itself out and folded everything up, which is good. And one combine to go. there so we can get the heater off and we'll ride along for the last little piece with the grain cart coming along how much better's auto drive been it's been fantastic <laughs> just about to say that about the mileage as well scott it'd be interesting eh there is a mod that shows mileage of course there is mark uh, mod for everything nowadays So it seems, I know, right? Right. Let's see how this green cart goes. Beautifully into position. Look at that, it doesn't even slow down, it just gets in and does it, gets the job done. Perfect.
get to the end of the row. So I hope everyone's enjoyed having a look around Girang Gurang. Um, if you want to take a look for it yourself, there is a link down in the description. You can find it on Aussie Farming Sim Facebook page. Argentina just, I can hear in the background cranky, I was like, did Argentina just score or did Australia score? I forget from the crowd reaction, it's probably Argentina. Um, but my boy's got it on in the lounge, so. In the living room. Um, but yes, if uh, if you do want to find it, go and find it there. Um, as you're farming some. And have a play on it. It's uh, Like I said, it's a little bit rough around the edges. Um, frame rates are a little bit punishing in some areas, but it could be the fact I've got my foliage and level of detail turned up to four times. Uh, 400%, so might not be quite so bad but it's it's tolerable got some pretty detailed mods as well with Kenworth's uh, some pretty high poly mods but otherwise it's uh yeah it's been good it's done what it did Courseplay came in you could use Courseplay straight away which is nice field definitions and everything like that seemed good custom crops um yeah just a well-rounded big field map it's taken us a better part of two hours to harvest this field and it's uh it's a decent size but it's not the biggest on the map that's for sure Worth checking out, worth checking out if you're looking for something new, something different. That's the main thing. Go and make your own mind up. I can tell you all you want to hear about it, but uh, this person to decide if they like it or not. It's you. Cheers, Cameron. Oh, you're going to back out just as we've got 34. <laughs> We're so close to done, Mr. Graincart. Let's see if I can get him to open his tart. Last 34 there. Don't drive, don't drive. Ah. 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 <laughs> Alright, it's empty. That's all I was trying to do. <laughs> Alright, everyone. Level of detail, level of madness. Could be a bit of both, mate. Could be a bit of both. Uh, fold the header up. Get that bracket put on there. Fold the combines up. And uh, there we are. We will be. We'll be back. A little bit more harvesting again next week, maybe. Or we might have a look at it on uh, Wednesday night as well. When we are streaming for the Aussie crowd. Aussie New Zealand crowd. Anyhow, thank you everyone for joining in. Uh, thanks for being here. Make sure you've dropped a like on the stream. Uh, great to see so many people after a few weeks off. And uh, keep an eye out next week for the Logging League. I'm really, really excited to uh, bring that to you guys. So, um, if you haven't entered the team and you're thinking about it, make sure you jump into FSG's Discord and find the links. Uh, otherwise, they're all on my promo video or his promo video. And uh, yeah, we'll be going with that and seeing how it all works out. Could be, uh, could be a blast. Anyhow, take care, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your weekends. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one.